Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's walkabout. I'm up here at the very top of Pratanak Hill. Uh, I'm at the start of the, the turning into Pratanak. And I want to walk down towards Second Road. And I'll tell you the reason why, as I mentioned in the video I did the other day, uh, I came up here on my motorbike uh, to go and do a different video. And there's so much change down this way. I thought, well, let's just have a wander down and just show you this part of the city. Maybe some of you haven't seen before. And those that may be familiar with it will think, wow, just like I did, there's a lot of things that have changed and uh, are not the same. So. Uh, let me spin the camera around and before you say it, I've got my hat, I've got my hat on so I, I'm not going to uh, get sunburnt. So if you continue down that way, that takes you down into Jom Tien. And you see where the white car is now turning just in front of us. And if you went that way, that would take you into Prasenak. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to wander down this way, heading back down towards Pattaya and to Second Road. And it was really, it just caught me off guard to be honest with you. I literally jumped on my motorbike and uh, was riding up here. And I thought, wow, you know, there's a lot that's changed, which it has. So uh, I want to cross the road. And uh, now's not the best time to cross the road, but anyway, timing is everything. Now the bar bus is going to think I want to get on the bar bus, and I don't. Uh, I'm not legging across there yet. Go on, give me a, here we go. There we go, right, oh, even done a bit of a little run in there. Woohoo, check me out. Before I did my fat defeat, I couldn't run a bath. Right, okay, so we're over this side now. And these are the sort of things that I've just overlooked, like here, like Manhattan's Steakhouse. I don't know if that's just being built or whether that's uh, sadly not made the distance, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're refitting it, but I didn't even know it existed. I really didn't. And this is the funny thing about the city, you know, so many things you just never see. Uh, Nirvana Place. Yeah, on the Varna place up there. And this area, if you're going to stay this area, it's a great location. You're central to everything. You're literally a 40 bar uh, motorbike taxi down to the beach, 40 bar motorbike taxi into the town. And uh, you know, the BART buses all day long. But we're walking now down, um, we're heading down towards Second Road. And this is a cut through as well. If you go down that way, that will take you right down into Bangkok. But you need to know where you're going. It's not something you could walk, you need to know your, bear, your whereabouts. And just up here, this place, I'll tell you what, they've come on leaps and bounds here. Who remembers the video I did uh, with the lady here at Grand Salaire? And uh, I've got to say, when I did it, it was just construction. Uh, they were just doing all the base and uh, digging it out and doing all the piling and everything. And now you're going to see they've come on tremendously. You know, some of the new developments that are, that are appearing here in the city and that are being proposed and that are just phenomenal. But if you watch that video, and that wasn't all that long ago really, to be fair, only a few months, but look at it now. There you go. Look at it now. And it does propose to be something special, it really does. But uh, they really are coming on leaps and bounds. You can see there in the distance there, look. That was just a massive hole in the ground when I first went there. A huge, deep, deep hole. Now they're, all, they're almost level with the ground now. And on obviously this side, way ahead of the game. But it does, it does, uh, it does show that it's going to be something special here. Look, you see up here, see these images. And uh, their slogan is, above all, Grand Solera, above all. And it does, look at that. It's, it really does pose to be a... Uh, incredible sight look at the swimming pool and i went around some of the rooms if you're not if you are interested in this have a look back in my videos i covered this and i went around the rooms and a uh, really lovely lady she kind of showed me around and it does it does really look something special and i can imagine when it's finished it will be but if you look around the city center right now i'll tell you what there's a lot of developments going on there really is a lot of changing, and rapidly as well. Diamond Resort Condominium. So we're at Soy 13 now. And over there, see there, look, the Eight Horseshoes Tavern. That is new. I've not seen that before. And this is what just blew me away, because when I was riding up there, I was like, wow, that's just appeared. So these are places that I need to get out and come and visit and, you know, just show my face and see what it's about. Have you been in there, guys? The Eight Horseshoes Tavern. Has anyone been in there? I didn't even know it existed until literally just a minute ago. A couple of little places down there. 
uh, diving centre here, the Adventure Divers. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, my blood pressure's coming down lower and lower now, so once I get it down to acceptable levels for diving, I'm gonna go and see uh, Neil, a real divers, smashing guy. I was meant to do the dive about two years ago, but my blood pressure's just been through the roof, and I haven't had a chance to uh, get it down, but now it seems to be coming down, which is great news. Uh, just up here on the right-hand side, Cafe Desami, there's the entrance into it, uh, you can go down there. Very highly recommended, very highly regarded. Uh, it's uh, uh, their fine dining restaurant and gin bar. 200 meters, end of the soy turn left, and they're over at 5.30. And uh, closed on Sundays, I think that says. But yeah, it's a gin bar as well. And if you want to learn your language, there you go. Easy ABC. Um, I always say to people, if you want to learn Thai, try and get yourself an individual teacher, a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, go all the way down there, that's where Cafe Desmond is. Uh, but try and get yourself a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, for me, the, uh, the group classes just don't really work because teachers don't like to hang you out and say, no, no, you said it wrong. So they kind of just go, yes, yes, yes. Uh, over there, the Rita Resort. Again, that's a new one on me. Must have been recently refurbished, I think. I don't know, but it's uh, definitely a new one on me. Over there, only weeds, stop and room for rent. And yet there's still no real clarity as to what to expect with these, uh, these shops. And they are everywhere. I reckon we're close to saying there's probably more of them than there are bars. And uh, the irony of it is, is though, is that although I, I understand, you know, that that's a lot of people's thing, I don't see people in them. When I walk past, I very rarely see anyone in these uh, establishments. So although there's like a million and one of them, I don't actually know what the idea behind it is, because as I say, I, I just don't see anybody in there. Unless they buy it and go home and consume it, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how they do that. Well, not how they do it, but if they can do that, I don't honestly know. See that right in front of us now here? I was just talking about those shops. And bloody typical, I said to you I don't see anyone in them. And there looks like some guy's gonna go in. Just my luck. Unless they're, yeah, oh no, maybe they're just wild. Well, they're just waiting for someone. Hello, fella. Never go up to dogs and stroke them, guys. Even if you're the most avid dog lover in the world, very, very, diff very, very dangerous because the street dogs, sadly, are uh, sometimes subject to abuse. And of course, you put your hand out, and uh, to the dog, he might feel that you're going to strike him. And as you know, the way they retaliate will be to bite you. So please be very careful. Over there, Siat Batea. If you're lucky enough to have a speedboat, I used to have a speedboat in the UK. I had a Fletcher Arrowflash, 21 foot, me and my mate Simon had it. But uh, if you are into the boating world, they go, now this one here, look at this. Zing. See, now this is this is new to me, look, this purple building. And I think what they've done is, I, I think it's been taken over and they've just painted it up. This isn't a new building. But they do a breakfast buffet here, 179 bar. Oh wow, on January 23, so it's been a lot. See, I must have my eyes shut, flipping hell. Good food, good mood. International breakfast buffet, large selection of delicious food. There you are. So uh, clearly, I've had my eyes shut because I didn't even know that this. It's January, so it's only a year old. <laughs> oh dear. I do get myself in a muddle sometimes. I think that's half my problem is my brain is just fried. I forget so much now, these. Wiz Hotel over there, there's Wiz. And like I say, you know, these places that uh, you stay in, you're in a very nice location. 212 Summer Cafe. Uh, art Hotel, Naris Art Hotel. I like art, to be honest with you. Years and years ago, I used to do uh, spray painting. Have you ever seen a spray painting artist? And uh, I first discovered that. I was out on holiday. I was in, uh, where was I? Was I in Spain or Turkey? I can't remember where I was now. But anyway, I met this gentleman called Tony, Tony Teleski. And he was a street artist. And we become very, very good friends. He moved over to the UK, we met up. And he taught me how to do the street painting. How to do the, uh, you know, the uh, 3D art spacecapes? I can do all that. And uh, if I could dig them out, I would show you some photos of me working at Glastonbury, WOMAD, Gilfest, 
uh, Swanage, Swanage Week, the Swanage Regatta. I've done all of those. And uh, it's great fun, great fun. You just use uh, spray cans and uh, use things like plant pot lids and pieces of paper and you can create these really funky, really cool 3D uh, designs of Spacecape. And uh, it was busy, it was busy. Oh, what's up there? Got like a temple over there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the cut through road. I know where that is, I know where that is. That's actually a house, I believe. I don't think it is a temple, it's a house. We're going to uh, head down, down this bottom end there. I know you're probably thinking, Trev, you told us there's a lot going on, mate, and so far we ain't seen a great deal. But uh, just down here, there's a bit more I want to show you. And over there, that's a big old boy, isn't he? Not sure what that one's called, truthfully. I'll tell you, when I do this walking, I don't have to build up my appetite. And then the trouble is, when I get down to what I want to eat, I don't actually want to eat. So it's kind of like weird, really. But we're not a million miles away from Third Road now. And uh, what are we going, 11 minutes. So by the time we get down, I'll cover everything I want. Happy days. Let's get back up on the road. Oh, when you're coming out, guys, what's your plans? Now, we're on the crest of what we hope is going to be a higher season than what we've had. I don't think it's going to be like the high seasons we're used to, but it's going to be a higher season. But uh, what's your plans, guys? When you're coming out, drop a comment. Drop the, uh, the, the date you're coming out like. January, December, February, what, what's on the horizon for you guys? It does seem noticeably a little bit busier right now. Nothing to uh, sing and shout about, but certainly a little bit busier. There you go, look at that. Beer and Bistro, T25 Coffee Cafe. Not the top there, see at the top, look. That looks quite nice. Again, something new I haven't seen before. And these cables, see, look at these, look. And then, you know, wrap around, <laughs> look at here. Look, it's just wrapped around the poles. And bare ends. And I'm not, I'm not gonna touch them because I don't know much about them. But uh, you may have uh, heard in the news, I covered it in my news a while back. A uh, poor girl, she uh, touched the bare ends of a cable hanging out by accident and electrocuted stuck in the hospital. And that busy building in there. I admire these guys, how they can work in this heat. Fair play for that. It really is. Bon Appetit. Okay, we'll show there. Uh, French and Thai restaurant. French restaurant, okay. And this is what I mean, you know, there's all these places just pop up. And uh, sadly, right here, you can see here a lot of these. These are in uh, not in a very good state. But uh, there are some nice little new places just, you know, just jumping out and Right, what have we got here? Kudos Boutique. Okay, looks very nice. Bit clean inside the Kudos, there you go. Kudos Boutique. Over the road there, a few more restaurant massage places. I'll tell you what I did miss on the way down, which is stupid, I mean it's Jade. Uh, Jade House Gentleman's Club, it's actually, if you, if you go back up there, follow the road up, and on the left hand side, look above you, you'll see a green sign, Jade. Uh, that's a Gentleman's Club. Uh, pop yourself in there and uh, you'll enjoy yourself in there, I can promise you that. Right. And I'll tell you, I will tell you when I get down here. There's the old lottery. Uh, contact room for rent. Studio, one or two bedroom, so on rent daily, very affordable. Two swimming pools, separate living bedroom, kitchen. Wow. Okay, I wonder if it's open. Uh, yeah, back in a second. So I just went and had a look. Uh, 15,000 baht a month. Uh, it doesn't include your electricity and your water. Electricity was charged at seven baht. Uh, but they do have two swimming pools and uh, the room was quite tidy to be fair. It was quite nice. Uh, 15,000 baht uh, if you're staying here for three months or more. And if you're into the thing, right next door to it, there you go, there's another one. But see what I mean, look, nobody in there. Yeah, 15,000 baht, I think that was too bad to be honest with you. Uh, apartment, monthly rent. 
the residents garden. They look quite nice. I need, I need to, well, the reason I keep hesitating is because I want to actually, uh, I'm looking at moving. And uh, I am looking around at the moment. Right, anyway, back on track. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to uh, diversify there. Now this place, uh, you may have, I don't know if you, I don't know if I brought it to the channel, I might have done, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, a few months back, or probably seven, eight months ago, this was a showroom for a uh, condominium that's gonna be built right here. Now I've got no idea what's happened. I don't know why it hasn't uh, even started or got off the ground. They actually built the showroom here, which has now disappeared, it's been knocked down. So I don't know what went on truthfully. And you know, when you see, look at this little open board there. Oh, that's just telecommunications, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to worry about in there. Mind you, it should be shut. Um, but you know, this, these kind of things, these kind of projects, it does make me worry sometimes because, you know, if you buy or invest off plan and, uh, you know, you put your money into it, then you've got to hope and pray that it gets to completion. And if it does get to completion, well, then obviously, okay. But uh, in this instance, you know, it hasn't. And that's a real shame. And I hope people haven't lost money in that. And uh, over the road there, there is the HISO Hotel. The HISO, and that road, you see where the green court is? Uh, well, that leads all the way up to Prattenmat Hill, up to the top. And here is the Trapea Art Zone. So I'll look around there, shall we? All these different paintings in it, fair play. It's weird, I can do my space scapes, but I couldn't do anything like this. I'm about as artistic as a blind man. But uh, I should try and dig some out. So maybe I should. Do, maybe here. Would you like me to do a video showing you how to make a spacecape? <laughs> That'd be something different. But uh, in here, very clever, very talented. Oh, look at that! Look at that black and white. I like that black and white one. That looks nice. That's my kind of thing. I'm not into uh, animals and all that kind of stuff. I like, I like weird stuff. You know, oh, look at this. That's tiny. Uh, coffee shop. Right, I think we are pretty much done and dusted now. Uh, right, yeah, let's wrap it up here, guys. I think we've uh, done our journey. To, I've done what I showed you. I just want to show you around. Uh, but like I say, there, see where the motorbike is there? Just come with a good gentleman in the white shirt. If you walk down that way, that takes you into the second road, into the start of Walking Street. And uh, if you walk down this way, that will take you along the third road. And eventually you'll keep going and keep going and keep going. You'll come up to Tony's Gym and then you'll come up to uh, Soy Chai Poon and to uh, Soy Lenki. And uh, as I say, over there, that way, where the cars are going now, you see them in the distance. That takes you up to, uh, up to uh, Pratunak Hill. And the way we've just come down is that way right there. And that takes you up to, uh, up to Prasenac and further on down into John TM. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's walk. We had just something different. I thought, well, let's bring this bit to the channel. Uh, if there's any areas you want me to cover, guys, please let me know. Drop me an email, 247 at gmail.com. Please drop me an email and uh, let me know any areas you'd like me to go and do or cover or bring you up to date on. I'm happy to go and do that for you, no problem whatsoever. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much, Steve, for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, take a look on our Discord channel. Uh, it's packed full of information, loads and loads of different rooms. We are tidying up, making it more user friendly. So have a look on that, guys. It really is worth its weight in gold, totally free of charge. Uh, also have a look at our Instagram and our TikTok accounts. Uh, they're going from strength to strength. They've brought short 15 to 30 second snippets of stuff that's happening right here, right now in the city. Uh, restaurants, uh, bars, hotels, you name it, street life, all that is in there. So please have a look at that, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, there's a link to our members area on buzzingpatea.com. A look on the left hand menu on the bottom icon and that will show you what we do in our members area and your support is much appreciated. It really does help me do things with the channel and bring more content to the channel. So thank you very much for all your support. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.